So we had a lady attend our program named Elizabeth Cott. She had three large tumours in her abdomen. She was uh, in her mid-60s at the time. The doctor said, if you don't get chemo straight away, you know, I, we don't know if you're going to make it. You've got to work fast. Well, the best thing to say is thank you so much for your advice. I'm going to seriously consider it. Because what does God want us to do? Not make a decision on fear. Remember, he says, I haven't given you the spirit of fear. Do you know what that word fear means? Timidity. <laughs> Cowardice. God hasn't given us that. So no matter what you're told, the best thing to say is thank you. Thank you so much for your advice. I'm going to seriously consider it and go down and weigh up your options. At Misty Mountain Health Retreat, we stopped all glucose. Well, you can't stop all glucose because every cell must run on glucose, but we greatly reduced it by stopping the fruit. We gave her herbs to kill. We didn't have the hyperbaric chamber at that stage because this was 11 years ago now. She had the green drinks every day. She did a total lifestyle change. This lady was a Seventh-day Adventist. She said, I've never drank, I've never smoked. I, 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 don't, I don't do anything that could have caused this. But she's a very clean lady and her laundry was full of chemicals. Chem so many chemicals. You, you, you could eat off her floor, it was so clean, but you actually couldn't because there were so many chemicals. You see, it's a huge deception. People don't realise the chemicals can be killing them. And then she said something. She said, oh dear, we've got a Polish church and we love our desserts. And she said, I make a dessert, it's this big. It's a meringue dessert. that We call it pavlova in Australia. And she said, I whip up 16 egg whites and 16 cups of white sugar. She said, I think I was just feeding my cancer with sugar. When she saw there was definitely no mold in her house, there's, there's no place for it. There's a lot of chemicals and a lot of sugars. She said, ooh wee. See, this is the mirror. And when many people look in the mirror, they go, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Because you're the doctor. Only you know your history. Only you know what you've been through. And only you know how different things react and how your, what your body responds to. She went back to the doctor three months later. He did a blood test. He did a scan. And he said, just keep doing what you're doing and I'll see you in six months. Now, what did he say the first time? You gotta, you gotta have chemo straight away. She went back a year later, cause this is, well, this is a year now since she started. One of the tumors had totally gone. She said, I haven't felt this good since I was in my forties. She said, I actually feel better now than in my forties. I've lost weight. I'm off my sleep apnea machine. I'm off my medication. Another year later, another tumour had gone. She's a very happy lady. <laughs> she gives little talks now. She's a little shy, so just little talks to little groups. And when they ask her to make a pavlova or meringue dessert now, she says, oh, I love you too much to do that. I'll make you an apple strudel with spelt flour and Granny Smith apples and a little maple syrup. <laughs> She's not on the no fruit diet now. She just was for that first six weeks. And it's 11 years later now. And how long does that six weeks seem now? Like a drop in the pan. Her story is one of many. And what we say to people when they first come and they want to conquer cancer, I say we see three outcomes. Sometimes we see a turnaround and I could spend the next hour telling you many other stories but time prohibits me.